Ooh, water's looking high. That's good. Ooh. All right, there we go. Ugh. Kind of crammed in here, but we'll make do. And here we freaking go. Well, what is up, folks? Welcome back to another kayak fishing adventure today. We're gonna be doing the orange lure fishing challenge. Basically what that entails is I fish with orange lures and catch fish. So here's our starting lineup, folks. First, we have this Rapala uh, hot mustard muddler. There's some yellow on there, but it's pretty orange if you ask me. Then we have this all orange rooster tail. This will kick some serious butt. Then we have a Panther Martin with bright orange blade with a yellow body. But uh, as long as it's got a good amount of orange in it, that's all that matters. It's got a pot of gold spoon. Same thing here, big stripe of orange and some gold sides. And last, but very likely least, we've got this little $1 spinner bait. I think it's a spinner bait or a buzz bait. I think this might be a buzz bait. $1 from Walmart, got some orange little uh, stringies in there. I don't know, never caught a fish on one of these before, so. If you're new to this channel and you've never seen me fish here, basically, this is a golf course pond. The golf course is on that end. And then there's a bunch of businesses over on that end. And the golf course owners, management got changed and now they get pissed if I fish on their property, which first of all, who the heck cares? Honestly, there's kids dealing pot two blocks away on the street corner and they just want to call the cops if you're fishing fishing near the golfers, disturbing them. It just, it's really annoying, makes me a little mad, but it is their property, so it is, it is what it is. That's why I'm out on the kayak, because technically you can float on the water, but if you're standing or waiting, it's illegal. So, break out the kayak so we can catch some of these bass. But yeah, we've only got like two and a half hours of daylight left, and it is snowing, as you can see. But anyway, I gotta stop talking, I gotta tie on a lure. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the good old Panther Martin, just because I know we can knock this out easy along with this rooster tail. Panther Martin was not my first choice. I wanted to use a MEPS, but they didn't have any orange MEPS spinners. So we're working with the P Martin today. You know what, let's just give it a first cast right here. We're gonna paddle up here to start. Here we go. This is the money spot. Guys, I apologize, but I gotta put the microwave, microwave? I gotta put the microphone for this GoPro in the bag so it doesn't get wet, so I apologize for the crappy audio in advance. Is that a, nah, it's not a fish. Gosh dang it. Got me so excited there. Ugh. Oh shoot. Probably hung up on a piece of carpet or something, you know. The huge. One hour later. Oh, funny story, folks. I have been taking refuge under that little tunnel for the past over an hour because the snow was just too bad. I couldn't get out here. Well, this sucks. Still snowing. Can't fish. I'm soaking wet. I have to pee. It's about 5 p.m. right now. We lost a good, like I said, over an hour because of that snow. So let's uh, see if we can catch some fish before it gets dark. Holy crap, I just broke off that spinner and it launched a solid quarter mile in that direction. Oh my, well that blows. There's no way I'm gonna find it. I love that, you guys. That's like my favorite thing to do. If you guys didn't know, my favorite thing to do next to catching fish is uh, just snapping off and launching $5 lures into the abyss of nowhere. Heck yeah, dude. Snow is coming back with a vengeance. All right, well, I guess we'll tie on this rooster tail, knock it out hopefully real quick before it gets too dark. What, uh, what, are you serious? What the heck happened, bro? Oh, this is a mess, you guys. I should not have gone fishing today. What the heck? How does this happen? It literally just looks like a cat started playing with my, all right, there we go. Got it untangled, got my reel all good and wet. That's key. I'm getting wet, we might have to start heading back. Yeet. Woo! 
Well, folks, that didn't work out. Shouldn't have gone out fishing. Look at this. This is a full on blizzard. I am soaking wet. Didn't catch a fish. Lost a $5 lure. But I'm not giving up. I'm going to be right here tomorrow and I'm going to catch some fish. And I hope you guys stay tuned because today didn't really work out. So, anyway, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, just woke up, slept in the truck last night. It's about 9 a.m. Let's get out there. All right, folks, welcome to another day. Much different day than yesterday. Sun is shining, but I went to Sportsman's Warehouse last night, picked up another orange rooster tail spinner to replace that one we lost. Let's give it a first cast. Ooh, well, nothing on the kayak, nothing. So I went to Sportsman's last night, picked up some Lost Creek finesse sticks. A little bit of orange on it, keeping with the orange theme of this video. Ooh, they feel nice and soft. If I was a bass, I'd munch that. Wacky rig it up here. All right, go ahead and toss her under. I got a good feeling, folks. Oh, there's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite. I'm gonna let him eat it. Look at him, he's taking line, he's taking line, he's taking line. Got him, got him. That is a freaking big one. Oh my goodness. That's a big one, that's a really big one, folks. Oh my goodness. I knew moving over here was the deal. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I gotta loosen the drag on him. I'm not risking it. This is the best feeling in the world right here. Having something giant on the end of your line and you don't know what it is. It's probably just a bass, but you never know. Maybe it's a catfish. Oh my gosh. That is not even a giant one. I've caught way bigger ones, but this sucker is fighting hard. Look at that. Just look at him fighting that ultra clear water. I don't want to tire him out more than I already need to. There we go. Ugh. Boom, boom, baby, look at that. Down his gullet. Boom, there we go. First fish of the little orange lure challenge. Big old, probably two and a half pound bass. And the reason why I don't want to stand up and hold him up is because there's cars driving by and I don't want people to know about this spot. Whoa. There we go. Well, I don't know what that fish did, but it kind of twisted up my line. Ugh, how, how'd you do that, dude? How the heck? I set my rod down, and then it gets tied in some professional Boy Scout knot. So here's the deal. If I'm going to complete this Orange Lord challenge, I might need to go to a whole different body of water, which would be a trout stream to probably knock off a spinner and a Rapala. There's not much good spinner fishing water here. Pretty much the only thing I think I can catch a fish on is this Sanko right here. Oh, so I'm going to try one more spot up here, see if we can catch another bass on the Sanko, and then head somewhere else probably. Oh my gosh, I got one. Holy cow. I got one. No way. No way, it's a rainbow. Oh my gosh, get him up. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look at that fish. Oh my gosh. Whew. That almost looks like a steelhead. It's not, but look at those colors on him. Well guys, we knocked out the Rapala pretty quick. Like first or second cast right there, he like bit it and swam right toward me. I didn't even know I had him until I could see him. Keep him in the water, keep him healthy while we look at him. He's kicking, he is healthy, he is ready to go. Look at that. So gorgeous, I can't get over that. There he goes. We knocked the Rapala off so we can go ahead and take it off. Now we'll go ahead and put back on this spinner. 
I guess you could say more of it's a light red or a deep orange, but it's still orange, so it counts. All right. Let's do that again. It might be another one of his buddies hanging out. Is that a fish? No, gosh dang it, that got me excited. Just a branch. This is another good little run. We'll probably get one here. There's a fish, there's a fish, there's a good one. There's a good one. Good one. Come on, stay on there. That's a nice fish, that's a nice brown. Oh yeah, the current is fighting like twice as hard as the fish is. Gosh dang, get up here. Well, we knocked this spinner out. Boom. Now we're starting to catch some fish. Yeah, I'll just lift him up here, he's not that big. Look at that. My hand is like kind of still wet from that last one, but it doesn't matter. Look at that. That is a gorgeous fish right there. Look at those little red dots, black, golden brown. Nice. Doesn't get any better than these little creek browns, man. See you later, buddy. Get out of here. All right, well, the next lure up on the list is this pot of gold spoon. Now, it, it's a little too big for the stream, just a little bit, but I've had crazier things happen. I think we can catch a fish on it. If I can just get one to swipe at, I think we can hook him, so. All right. Ideally, you'd want to fish a spinner and a spoon with a swivel to prevent line twist, but I don't have any swivels with me, and as long as you're not making giant casts, it shouldn't matter too much. All right, there we go. Big old spoon tied on. By the way, I put my waders on so we can hike down here without getting soaking wet. Well guys, I think I'm gonna have to end the video right now. I'd like to keep fishing. Believe me, I'd like to keep fishing, but I gotta, I gotta do something else, so I gotta head out. But we will be back to hopefully catch a fish on this spoon. We did knock out the Sanko, the Rapala, and the Spinner. Caught three fish on three orange lures. That's good in my book. If you enjoyed, go down there, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. I'm thinking of doing a giveaway soon. Someone uh, actually suggested it to me. So we might be doing that soon. Leave a comment down below of uh, what you think I should give away. Maybe I'll pick it, maybe I'll pick you. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.